Hi, I'm Sean Vitek from Objective 49 Films, and we're here today at Howling Hounds Coffee Shop to have auditions for our next movie, Amplifier. Amplifier is about a young girl trying to break into the Omaha music scene, and we're uh, about to show you some of the highlights from today's auditions. What do you think about the Omaha music scene? Omaha music scene? Um, I've only been doing it for a year, so it's fun. It's, it's a personal challenge to me to get out and just get over the nerves thing. So every time I get nervous, I'm like, no, you have to do it because you're nervous. You have to go and do that. So it's more of a thing for myself. And then I was married for eight years, and I had a non-supportive wife. And he's like, you can't do anything. She made me quit music when I was in high school. And I was sit back and I think, I go, where could I be if I didn't give up on music when I was 17 years old instead of getting married? So I'm like, well, I'm 30, gotta do it now. I really hate when people are like, oh, it's Omaha. You know, it is Omaha. Because I feel like maybe that was the case 15, 20 years ago. I've lived here obviously long enough to know that. Um, but it's really evolved. And we've got really cool stuff going on. We've got local art, local film, local music. And we've got a lot of talent around here. I mean, a lot of different genres, a lot of different styles. and. Whatever your thing is, jazz, metal, uh, indie, you can find it, and you can find it for inexpensively. It's nice to be a part of something, you know, go out and be who you want to be. I mean, I'm a normal person, I work, I have kids, but, you know, at night, or actually what gets me through the job when somebody's being a jerk to me, I think about who I really am, that I'm not just that person that's owned by them because they give me a paycheck. Yeah, no. Uh, it's freedom. The music, the music scene is freedom. <laughs> All right. Singing. Who's your favorite Omaha band or singer? You. <laughs> <laughs> It's awesome. There's just everywhere you go, there's music, 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 all kinds of music. There's rap, hip hop, you know, metal, blues. It's awesome. Just the whole entire community of it is great. I think the music changed a lot from my day. You know, from my day, we were we were the great bastion of rock and roll. You know, we were 
doing cover tunes of Mario Speedwagon and the Allman Brothers, you know, Led Zeppelin. Now these guys, they're doing cover tunes of groups that I don't even know who the hell they are, you know? And it, it, it's, it's changed. I appreciate some of the new music, but also a lot of it I just don't understand. I just look and I go, that was just an E, a B7, and an A. Where's the musicianship here? My wife ran a store called Borders out on 132nd and of Maple. She used to have this guy come in, Connor Ober, Burst, Connor okay. Oberst. Yep. Uh, he was nothing. He was one of these kids who came in and said, I'm singing a song now. Dogs! Dogs! I love them dogs! You know, he'd just sing this stuff and I'd just kind of go, oh, well, you know, a short few years later, and he's like, oh no, he's, he's one of the biggest things in music. I saw him on the Grammy Awards and I was like, Pick up my guitar, dogs! Get <laughs> yeah, it's changed a lot, and it's really aggressive. And, and I really enjoy uh, a lot of them around here. You know, you just have to give them for give them for what it is. You know, uh, they got the balls to stand up there and do it. <laughs> The idea that anybody can just go out on pretty much any night of the week and play a few tunes, you know, you don't have to book it ahead of time really, you just go, you know, display your art and everybody's usually pretty receptive to it. Do you have a favorite local band? Or do you have an opinion on the local music scene? I really don't pay too much attention to the local, local music. Yeah. What's your impression of the local music scene? Do you have any kind of... Uh, impression of, or thoughts on it, even though you don't? Yeah, I, I hear yeah. that it's great. We've got a lot of talent in Omaha. Are you somebody important? What do you think of Brad Hoshaw's music? Brad Hoshaw? Yeah. I, I, I haven't had the pleasure of listening. He's Brad Hoshaw, yeah. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, 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 would, I would love to. Just send me some... Let me put you on the spot. <laughs> something that's never been done in this town, even if it's been done somewhere else, no one here has seen it because we're kind of isolated in a way. Do you have any opinion on what makes the Omaha music scene unique? 
Um, I think it's because it's it's paid its dues. I think it's a situation where you feel like everybody is putting in the work. Um, even the cover, you know, and people mock cover bands and stuff like that when they see an event, but the cover bands are still doing the songs just as well as folks that are making up new stuff. Um, also with Omaha, it's the, the do-it-yourself nature really tended to um, build it. And, you know, so, so they know that they put in the work. Do you have an opinion on what makes the Omaha music scene unique? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think, I think the fact that we're kind of in the middle of the country and we have influences from all over the place. And I think just growing up in Omaha, everyone kind of felt like it was always a second class or third class city. So it was always the, kind of like the underdog and trying to, you know, make, make a name for themselves and show, hey, we're just as good as everybody else or better. So I think that all of that kind of helps with the, uh, the spirit. This is something I just started writing. I'm going to title it uh, Chemo. It's for uh, a friend who's going through treatment. When I read this part, I really wanted to read the rest of everything else because it, it just it hits me in the heart. Um, you know, I always had the aspiration to leave Omaha, you know, go west. I thought that's where my heart was and where the music scene was supposed to be. But uh, just recently, I came to to grips with Omaha, and I want to embrace Omaha and 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 be something here. I, I I love I love this place, and I love playing here. I love the people here, the wonderful people, and I. You know, I, I love it. I love the people <laughs> everywhere. The musicians are extremely nice and down to earth around here. As far as, as solo acts, 
it seems like they all kind of know each other. They all kind of are okay with each other. There doesn't seem to be a lot of backstabbing and uh, uh, anything like that. So I, I, whenever I play a show, wherever I am, if there's other musicians there, they're always very cool. And uh, everyone gets along. Yeah. It's strange. It has to end sometime. It can't always go on this way. <laughs> Just based on your impression, what do you think makes the Omaha music scene kind of unique? Um, I feel that there's like a lot of Omaha bands that like are actually doing well here because I'm. It's it's probably a lot easier to get started here in Omaha than it would be, you know, in a huge city where there's like a million people. And there's a lot of really talented Omaha musicians too, but but it's a much more like personal setting, I guess, with like these few specific venues that you can go to and know that people will come because there are only so many like really well-known venues. I think what makes it so unique is that the sound here is this mix of folk, but even when it's focused, it's infused with R&B, it's infused with rock. You don't get a clear cut sound from anybody. It's all these mixtures and then you kind of fit it to your own thing. And I think that's cool. I'm an R&B singer, um, working on my third album. And what is great that's happening now is that us as R&B singers on the hip hop scene are starting to perform and work with these rock bands, these folk bands and doing, and again, meshing these sounds. So we're starting to perform in Vincent a lot more, perform at the Waiting Room, work with the Omaha Entertainment Arts Award. So um, where the Omaha music scene for indie artists has really been great for touring, us as urban artists are just reaching that ourselves. So it's, it's exciting. I think that somehow there's enough collective people here that have made enough of a difference to have opportunities to maybe have other people be brought into that and maybe want to try and assist or develop that along with that in their own ways. I've seen that with the riverboats. Pretty soon everybody want to have riverboats, you know, all kinds of things like that. But yet there's enough of a collective of people that really have the dedication to be involved in that to, to make Omaha you know, I guess still be still be happening, and, and looks like a, a lot of other things are available now that weren't available for you know guys like me back then. I guess. Mm -hmm. We just want to thank everyone who came out and auditioned today. 
we appreciate your patience and talent and hard work. And if you're interested in knowing more, like us on Facebook and uh, go to our website at www.amplifiermovie.com. And we're just getting started on this adventure and we hope you'll follow us along. Thank you.